Hi, everyone. My name is Dave Bariani. I'm the CTO and co-founder of AtScale. Today, we're going to see how a semantic layer can improve the accuracy of, uh, of natural language queries using uh, Databricks Genie and Unity Catalog. First, a little bit about accuracy. You can go to our website and see our white paper about how a semantic layer can improve the accuracy of natural language queries. In that white paper, we used the TPCDS retail data set. It's a very complex set of tables and is complex model. Um, and we actually tested that th those queries with a semantic layer and without a semantic layer. There's a total of 40 questions, 10 in each of these four categories uh, when it comes to question complexity as well as schema complexity. Schema complexity means that, that the question required four or more joins. You can see that with, uh, with in our white paper, we showed how uh, uh, just how accurate uh, natural language queries can be when it talks to a semantic, semantic layer like at scales. In column two and three, you can see what the results for Databricks Genie. You can see that on Databricks Genie on the raw TPCDS tables, even with generated um, comments for tables and for columns, that we didn't get as, as good of um, accuracy as Databricks Genie on an at scale semantic model. So why is it why did we get this kind of lift when it comes to accuracy with a semantic model? Well, let's just take an example here. Let's say a question, uh, a user asks, asks a question like, show me the total web sales for 2002. Well, normally what Genie would have to figure out is what tables had or, or were, were, where sales were based on webs, web. They'd have to figure out what 2002 means and it has to figure out what total or individual sales would be. With that scale, at scale semantic model makes it really easy for uh, Genie to create a very simplistic query like you see here. You can see all it needs to do is access the query from the TPCDS model uh, table, which are, and, and it's, it's, and it's going to be very simple. At scale will then generate the proper query against Unity Catalog and against uh, and Delta, Delta tables in, in uh, Databricks. And it'll go ahead and access the right tables along with um, all the right filters and the like. So essentially, what the, the at scale semantic model and semantic engine has made the job really easy for Genie because Genie doesn't have to understand relationships or joins, and it doesn't have to understand or how to how to compute um, individual metric, even though that's obviously a very simple metric. So let's go see this in action. I'm going to go to Design Center. I have a model here called Internet Sales, which you see on the canvas. This model can be is this is the visual view, and you can build it visually. Um, but behind all this is SML. SML is our open source modeling language. It stands for semantic modeling language. And you can see that this particular model is made up of relationships and dimensions and metrics, what have you. Now that is all defined, um, that is all open sourced, and you can come to the uh, semantic data layer organization in GitHub and the SML uh, project and repo and you can see all the uh, the documentation of how SML works, along with its hierarchies and us actually sample models built in SML. We're looking at this, the internet sales model right now. Okay, well, let's go ahead and build a brand new model. Uh, and I'm gonna build a brand new model using AtScale's automated modeler. So I'm gonna go to my, my Unity catalog data. So I'm connected to Databricks right here and I'm connected, connected to uh, a Databricks cluster. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and create a model from this fact internet sales table. And all I'm gonna do is say, generate new model. Okay, I generated my new model. Now you see it, that it created the model on fact internet sales. And it also related all of the common dimensions, including customer product order and uh, a full date hierarchy, including uh, retail 445. So it reused all of those relationships and made that model, as you can see in the code that it generated, it actually generated all that code for those for for the users. Okay, so let's go ahead and name that. I want to name it new model. Let's name it genie model. And um, 
I'm going to make it easier for Unity Catalog by calling it Genie Model. Now, all I need to do is to deploy that model. Once I deploy this model, I'm going to call the catalog at scale and, and go ahead and hit the deploy button. Um, that's going to make it available not just to Databricks Genie, but any BI tool, including Excel, Power BI, Tableau, anything that can talk SQL, MDX, uh, DAX, um, or Python, uh, or REST for that matter. Okay, so we actually deployed our model. And you can see here, uh, we deployed it under the at scale database or catalog, and you can see there's our Genie model. Now let's go to uh, our Databricks console. So what we did is that we actually set up a connection to at scale just by going into the external data connections tab. And we actually created a catalog reference uh, using our Postgres uh, interface. So here's the reference to the at scale server that I'm talking to. So, uh, so what's that look like then? Well, um, if I go ahead and open this up and I hit the refresh button here, there's our at scale uh, database that we just deployed. Um, and you can see that there's the catalog. I named it the same uh, address as my, uh, as my instance. And then you can see there's the genie model. Now the genie model is obviously not just a single table, but it appears like a single table to Unity Catalog. Because remember, the Genie model is this pretty complex beast right here that we're seeing here. And you can see all of our metrics and our dimensions that got published. Well, in Databricks, they appear right here. There's actually seven pages of columns here. And you can see they're very, they're very nice English readable names. So now what I can do is I can create a Genie workspace from that. So let's go ahead and create a workspace by going to my Genie tab. And I'm going to call it Genie Store Workspace. And all I need to do is add a table. And in that table, I'm going to pick the Genie model. So I don't have to add any other tables because that's that's all I need to do. And now I'm I'm actually ready to ask some questions. So let's ask a question. Let's say show me sales um, by order year. I will use that order hierarchy and product for California. Okay, and just like that, I'll go ahead and ask it of Genie. So now what Genie is doing is it's talking to that Unity catalog table called Genie Store, um, and it's coming up with a, a, a very simple query to be, to be able to answer that question. So there you go, there's my order year. So it, ch it chose the right uh, date. Uh, it's because I said order. It chose the product name. It chose total sales, which is the right metric. If I look at the code, you can see it's very simple code here. And you can see that again, it accessed that single table. We made it really easy. Well, this doesn't, is, this is, this doesn't just work in Genie to ask na natural language questions. I can also make it work if I go to uh, my, my Databricks console. Uh, and I can run it, I can run and explore my queries uh, in, uh, in my, my SQL editor. Um, and if I do that, and I run this, I can also build dashboards using uh, Genie or using uh, Databricks console. So there's my data. I can go ahead and uh, create a, um, a dashboard of that. Just in a single click. Databricks makes this really easy. And there it is. And go ahead and add a chart on it. Uh, and now I got, let's do the total sales by product. And now I have a very quick dashboard with doing little to no work. Now, of course, this all works in natural language query, but remember this also works uh, for, uh, for your BI tools. So for Power BI, for example, I can go ahead and connect to Power BI and I can connect live using DAX um, and access that same semantic model that I, just, that I just built connecting with a live connection. So there's no reason for your users to have to get a separate connection to Databricks. We're now serving this all through the semantic model. So there's the at scale uh, database. Here's that Genie model that we just created. Uh, and just like that, I'm connecting to it um, and I can create live queries 
using uh, using uh, um, Power BI. Okay, so you can see we have a live connection. Look at all the metrics we have to play with here. Uh, I'll go ahead and do average sales, and we'll do average sales uh, by my geography. Uh, and just like that, um, we now have uh, the same data with the same um, single source of truth now represented in Power BI. In Power BI, I didn't have to build any model in Power BI to get started because the model has already been inherited from the at scale model. So that, there's that model we just built in one click. So your Power BI users don't need to do all that work and understand how to model the data because it's already been done for them. And we're not going to turn off features. So if I want to create a new metric and I want to do that look right here, and I'll call it a Dave metric and I'll create a formula. Um, I can go ahead and do that locally and create a new metric. Uh, and that's gonna appear uh, right here as my Dave metric. And now I just added a whole new calculated metric to my visualization just like that. So I hope you got a good sort of feel for just how, uh, how an at scale semantic layer and, and semantic engine can really help not just uh, natural language queries, but really serve as a single source of truth and bring trustworthy, uh, easy to access analytics to everyone. Thanks.